the Waukesha School Board is meeting right now to revisit its decision to opt out of a federally funded program which would provide free meals to all students. Waukesha is currently the only public school district in the state to turn down this program. Ben Jordan goes in depth on this issue, hearing from people on both sides of the controversy. Some Waukesha parents say they worry hundreds of students could go unfed at school if the Board of Education sticks with its decision to opt out of the free meals program. Feed the kids! Feed the kids! Dozens protested the district's decision last Friday to opt out of a free meals program already paid for by the federal government. Parent and dietitian Heidi Chada hopes it leads to a change of heart. If you don't have food to eat when you're at school, your stomach is empty, your mind's going to be empty because you're focusing on your hunger. In response to the financial hardships of the pandemic, Waukesha schools, like every other school district in Wisconsin, opted into the USDA's free meals program in March of 2020. It offered students free breakfast and lunch regardless of income. Heidi says throughout that time, participation in school lunches increased 37 percent. About 14 to 1500 more kids were eating every single day at school because they had the option to access a free meal. But when the USDA extended the program through this school year, the Waukesha School Board voted to opt out and instead go back to the National School Lunch Program, which provides free or reduced lunch to qualifying students. Members argued that families who can afford to feed their children should and worried about people becoming too reliant on free meals. As we get back to what everyone believes is normal, we have decisions to make. You know, what, what does normal mean and when is it normal? Is this part of normalization? I would say this is part of normalization, um, going back to our free and reduced lunch program as opposed to feeding everyone. The Waukesha School District says it uses data on students who qualify for free or reduced lunch programs in its state and federal funding applications. The district says future funding could be in jeopardy because fewer than 300 families applied for free or reduced meals last school year when free meals were already guaranteed. In previous years, they had between 600 and 800 applications. Food Pantry of Waukesha County Executive Director Karen Treadwell says the data doesn't tell the whole story. Families that are eligible for the reduced meals tend not to participate at a high level because even the reduced rate can sometimes be economically challenging for them. Karen argues the decision to opt out unfairly passes the expense on to parents who still may not have bounced back financially from the pandemic. It provides a level playing field for all of those kids and I think that's really something that is really advantageous to the community as a whole when you've got students who are um, succeeding and good food is one of the, the building blocks for a successful student experience. The state's Department of Public Instruction says there is no deadline to opt into this federal free meals program. So if the district doesn't change course tonight, they will have the opportunity to throughout the upcoming school year. Reporting in Waukesha, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.